Hi, I'm Alice Grist and I am the creator of the Cosmic Mother blog alongside my books, my tarot cards and my children. And today I wanted to talk to you about tarot and faith and spirituality in times of crisis because this is something that's really fresh to me right now, this year. Um, obviously life is difficult, it's chaotic, we have ups, we have downs, and then sometimes we have dire straits, we have massive difficulty, we have hurt and pain and grieving and death and disaster, um, we have heart attacks, that's what we had this year, is my husband having had chest pains for a long time and being investigated by the hospital, finally, I wouldn't say keeled over with a heart attack, had a heart attack that seemed to last all day um, and that saw him in the emergency room having stents put in at the age of 39. Now this all happened when I was at home alone with the children because he convinced me he was okay and so I dropped him off at the hospital assuming he'd be back in a few hours and I started getting text messages saying that he was going to go into cardiac arrest. Now, obviously, this is crisis point because on one hand, I'm making sandwiches for my daughter while sneaking off to ring her grandma to ask grandma to come over really quickly but without being able to tell grandma what was going on because that would render her incapable of looking after the children whilst also wondering if I was ever going to see my husband again and then acting like everything was okay and daddy just wanted me to go be with him. Um, yeah, that was a real crisis point and I would be putting this smiley, everything's okay face on for my daughter, the other one, thank God, was asleep in bed, um, whilst at the same time shaking like a leaf and that's the main, I, I was trying to make her a sandwich and I could barely butter it because my hands, it was like that etheric, spiritual, just, just this shudder, I wouldn't even call it shaking, it was a constant intense shuddery shake thing going on and I could barely function and it was probably a good thing that it took 20 minutes for grandma to come for me to calm down so that I could get in the car and drive. But before I got in the car and drove, one of the things that I needed to do desperately was to check in with my spirituality because life is scary, heart attacks are scary, trauma and death and fear are scary and they're very real things and no matter how spiritual you are in the everyday until it's tested by something massive you don't really know how it's going to play out or how it's going to make you feel or if it is going to make you feel any better or if you might lose faith altogether uh, so one of the things that I did at that crisis point was I got my tarot cards out I got the pack out that I designed with my daughter um, I couldn't face any of the other packs that may have had more darker imagery on or, you know, something that might have made me feel more scared than I already was. And so I shuffled the cards and part of me was thinking, do I want to be doing this? But then I thought, yes, because I'm not necessarily doing it to find out the outcome. I'm doing it because I need reassurance. I need guidance on how to act in this situation. This has never happened to me before. Um, I need my faith restored in some way. And the cards that came out were beautiful. Uh, I think one of them was the star, which is about transformation, which is really what this whole situation, looking back on it now, has slowly brought to us. Moving through mud over a really you know, long period of time, it's been several months, and there was many ramifications of that heart attack, physically, mentally, spiritually, that you know shook us all to the core. It wasn't just, hey, he survived, yay, party time. It, it was a really slow recovery, um, physically and definitely, definitely mentally. Um, so, for all of us. So, the cards brought me back to myself. They made me immediately feel like everything was going to be okay no matter what. Because they reminded me of my true belief that everything happens for a reason. And that can be a really hard pill to swallow. Um, particularly if something horrific or traumatic or frightening has happened to you in your life. That's a, a really peculiar lesson to learn and it can be difficult, but we can all find our sense. We can all learn. We can all be made better people. 
by what we choose to take from a crisis situation. And that's what happened. And this is why I think tarot and spirituality, and here's my cat, <laughs> um, can really, you know, bolster us in our times of need. Now, many people might say, oh my gosh, you don't want to pull a tarot card when you're in that kind of situation, because what if you got something frightening? Well, I'm not frightened of the tarot, because to me, they're a, a guidance, a lifeline, a objective best friend, and things like death or the hanged man, to me, don't mean little or literal interpretations of that. Um, so even had I got the death card on the day that my husband had a heart attack, yes, I might have had to have a word with myself about it, but I would have processed that as being changed. Um, and it all brings us back to hope, and it all brings us back to faith, um, which is really what spirituality is based upon. And my spirituality is very nature-based, I guess it's kind of witchy, um, sort of shamanic, um, it's based in my life, in the world around me, um, and, it bring, and it brings me back to hope and faith, and it, rem it reminds me as well of when my daughter, when I was pregnant with my second daughter, and the doctors were saying terribly scary things, perhaps suggesting that the pregnancy might not be viable. And I went to this place of utter crisis within myself, where I really just was thinking the worst. I allowed, the, you know, being a spiritual person, but I allowed the worst to overcome me. So I was contemplating miscarriages and babies who weren't viable, who were too poorly to live, you know, all of the really negative, horrific, horrendous things that happen to people every day, I was contemplating that being my only one and only outcome. And of course, we don't always know the outcome. And with a mix of tarot and prayer um, and womb blessing from, bless her heart, Lisa Lister, um, author of Code Red and Witch, um, and other, you know, attempts at spiritual thought during that time, I brought myself back to hope and to faith. And when I did that, everything changed. All that negativity lifted. The same as when my husband had a heart attack. When I brought myself back to hope and faith and the memory that all things happen for a reason and that we can't control it anyway and that these things are going to happen no matter how much we feel frightened or scared or worried, there's a hope and a faith in that too because it's an inevitability and sometimes it's nice to hand your life over to a greater power. And I know that's something my husband is currently learning um, as a result of his work with the 12 steps. So again, this is echoing a theme in my life with me through spirituality, for my husband's recovery. Um, and there is so much power in recognizing your own connection to something greater, to something bigger. And remembering that perhaps life does go on after life. So that even should the worst occur, and what is the worst? Death, I guess. That's what we think is the worst. That even should that be the outcome, that it's not perhaps real anyway. Perhaps this life is the thing that's not real. And I feel that very strongly, and I write about this in my books. I had a very vivid experience um, in my younger years where I, in my sleep, really, it was more of a sleep slash vision, because <laughs> um, it felt so very, very incredibly real. I woke up in absolute hysterics of laughter, and it was because I had dreamt, visited, been to, been reminded of the place that we exist in before we come to this human body. And the thing that caused me to laugh hysterically for quite some time after I woke up was the memory that how serious we take this, this life. Because we do, don't we? We take everything serious, every little decision we have to make about our welfare, our children's welfare, our partner's welfare. We become completely enmeshed and admired and entrenched within all of this and we have anxiety and stress and drama. And actually the memory that I had within that vision was that none of that is real. Much of it is in our own heads and how comical we're going to find that when we return to, let's call it, spirit. Um, and that spirit was this, I mean, I have just this image, it's indescribable in my head of how it looked, and it was just in, immense, intense, not psychedelic, but kind of amazing looking, um, like something out of a crazy uh, cartoon, a Dali painting, but not a Dali painting, just something that is indescribable, <laughs> um, but it felt very, very real to me. And so that is something that 
in times of crisis and in difficulty, I try to remind myself of, none of this is so serious. None of this is so real. All of this has a purpose. All of this has meaning. And the only thing we can do that is worth anything is have hope and faith. Because the worst is going to happen inevitably anyway to everyone. And if that should be now, then may I be blessed with the foresight and the insight as to how this can make me a better person. So that's my thoughts, my ramblings, my feelings on tarot and spirituality in times of crisis. And I'll leave you with one last thought. Um, one of the things that I have found very powerful in my life is signs and looking for signs. So you don't need a pack of tarot cards, you don't need anything to do this. All you need to do is ask for a sign. So if you find yourself in a time of crisis, then please do feel that you can reach out to the universe, the cosmos, to your own higher self to provide you with a sign that gives you what you need to move forward. Um, and I've had that time and time and time again. And it, it often comes through nature. It's come through signs on vans for some reason. <laughs> um, I've tended to have a lot of those, maybe because I'm driving around and vans tend to have signage on them and the most appropriate words have been presented to me at the times when I have really truly needed them or I've had a thought in my head. Just the other day I was thinking about something that I would like to happen for me, for my work, um, for what I do and I had a little plan in my head as to, you know, an intent, a fantasy, a kind of this would be an ideal outcome. And I just happened to be driving along and I turned to my right, your left, and um, and just as I had that thought, there on the house in front of me had um, a sign going across its gate and it said Fortuna. And I just thought, well, I like that. I'm going to take that. I feel that that's reflecting back to me that this little fantasy I've had in my head of what I'd like for my life. And I wasn't asking for great big massive things, just a small something. And the fact that this sign said Fortuna, I took it that this thing will happen, it will come to pass and it will be helpful to me and it will be in part my fortune. And when I say fortune I don't mean, you know, billions and billions of pounds or, or anything like that, but fortune in its oldest, most traditional sort of uh, spiritual sense that we all have a fortune, we all have a destiny and sometimes we can bring that closer to us, we can manifest it by concentrating on it, by thinking on it, by imagining how it might feel. So that's another way as well to deal with times of crisis by setting up within yourself an idea of how you would like your life to be and what, you know, you can't erase the bad things that happen but you can imagine how you will overcome them what you can learn from them, how you can share from them, how they can motivate you and other people. And my blog is one of those things. This video is one of those things. Wanting to connect with other human beings is one of those things. So anyway, this was my little video blog, vlog, vlog, of uh, tarot and spirit in times of crisis. And if you are going through a times of time of crisis please do comment below. Let me know, we can talk. Um, I'm sure there's a supportive group of people who follow these vlogs and, and my writings who will also back me up with support for you. Um, I'd really like us to be a community, I'd really like to share, I'd like to hear your stories and experiences with crisis and spirituality and how you have helped yourself and dealt with things and found your hope and found your faith. Okay, more of this soon. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Alice Grist, the Cosmic Mother. Over and out. I wanted to share with you what happened after I made the first part of this film and it was hugely unexpected as all signs from spirit, the higher self are and that's the thing about signs is you can't plan them, you can't ask for something specific, you simply have to believe them when they come and they can be so pertinent. So surprising, so wonderful. So obviously I talked to you about how I was driving along and I was having, you know, positive thoughts about something that I'd like to happen in my life. And as I turned to the side, I saw a house with a big metal gate um, and engraved into the gate was the word Fortuna. And it felt nice, it felt really good. It felt like, okay, these things that I'm thinking about 
may come to pass if I continue to believe in fate and fortune and destiny and the power of manifestation and attracting and you know putting the work into you can't just attract because you think about something you have to really put the work in um, and of course we're talking about crisis so the fact that out of crisis great things can come we can change we can shift we can become a better person anyway so I've already said all of that so after I finished making that video for you and I closed down the computer and I didn't think anything more of it and then I saw a card, a tarot card, on my desk, face down. Now, I'm a tarot card reader, I have dozens of packs of tarot cards, so it's not unusual for me to have one strewn about. Um, but I didn't quite know where this one had come from or what it was doing there. So of course, without meaning to really put any weight onto what the card said or to think any more of it, I just picked it up and looked at what it was, and this is what it was. Fortune. And of course my breath was taken because I had literally just finished talking to you about Fortuna and about that word coming to me unexpectedly and then bang there it was again right at the end of having just spoken about it. And that's how signs work. <laughs> Unexpected, surprising, bizarre, and of course you could do one of two things, you can believe it and be awed by it and understand it as a wonderful, strange, cosmic, connecting device um, that the universe is speaking to you, that nature is speaking to you, that your higher self, spirit, God, goddess, whoever you choose to believe in is speaking to you. Or you can go, <laughs> that's a silly coincidence, that means nothing. And then continue on on very black and white, basic, everyday life, never believing anything magic that comes your way. Now I know which I choose to do. So if you're in a time of crisis, or even if you're not, or if you're expected to be at some point, because we all are, then signs are a really powerful little tool to get through. But they're only there if you choose to believe them, and notice them, and appreciate them. And like I said, you can't plan them. You can't ask for something specific. They just come right when you're not expecting it. So I'd love to hear about any signs that you've had, perhaps in times of crisis or during times when you really needed guidance, perhaps an ancestral prayer that came in an unexpected way. So please do share your signs and stories and times of crisis and hope and faith in the comments below and because I will read every single one. And I really am, just, I find this fascinating. And I'm sure you find it fascinating and you'd like to read other people's stories too. So please do all.